Okay, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go over to quiz number two and just try to explain the answers as best as I can and give you all the solutions for the problems. So let's look at the let's look at number one, which is tell, asking you which of the following is not one of the fundamental units in the SI system. So fundamental unit is the one that cannot be described with any other unit for its own. So meter is a fundamental unit, kilogram is a fundamental unit, and second also is a fundamental unit. The newton, however, is not a fundamental unit because one newton can be described as kilograms times meter per second square. So since newton can be described by different units, you know, is not a fundamental unit. So answer is A. The second one is the particle moves from x1 equals 30 centimeters to x2 equals negative 40 centimeters. Displacement of this particle is. So here we have to understand what the displacement is. Displacement is just the shortest distance between final and initial. So our final x2 is negative 40 and initial x1 is 30. So then minus 40, which is the final, minus 30, which is the initial, will give us the displacement, which is negative 7 centimeters. So D is the correct answer. Here we have this problem where it says a person initially at point P in the illustration, which is uh, so basically we're taking this as our illustration, uh, stays there a moment and then moves along the axis to Q and stays there a moment. So basically we have from P, it starts from P, stays there a moment and then goes to Q. Um, then she then strolls to R, which means goes back to R, then stays there a moment, and then runs quickly back to P, and then runs quickly back to P. So, which of the position versus time graph below encourage represents this motion? So, let's look at the motion before we look at whatever we have over that. So, in terms of our X and Y, right? So, let's say this is, is going to be time, and this is going to be position. Uh, okay, so, and at t equals 0, right, is where our p is. So this is where the p is, t equals 0. So we start from there. And it says, it's initially at point p and stays there a moment. That means as a function of time, it stays there a moment. So we, you know, we're, for, for some time we're at point p. So this is point p. And then it moves along along the axis to Q. That means it goes to Q. So let's say it goes to Q. So this is somewhere Q. And, this is our Q. and it stays there a moment. That means it stays in the Q for a moment. Then she, she then strolls to R. And in order for us to go R, we have to go back, right? We have to go back. So that means we have to go down like this and stays there a moment. So we get to point R, which is this one, and we stay there a moment. And then run quickly back to P. So that means it has to be a steeper uh, slope, right? Because we move faster. So the uh, steepness of the line describes the speed. So steeper means faster. So then we go faster to back to P. So this is going to be our graph. So let's look at what we have. So A, it says that it starts somewhere over here, which is not true because P, where we start, is a zero. So it should be here. Um, so this is not that. So B, also not that. So directly we take out A and B. C, C looks okay because we start at zero and then we stay there. But this one looks okay, but let's look at the other ones. Okay, then we have D, which is again just like A and B, cannot be, right? It cannot be our answer. 
So then it's between A and C. The only difference between A and C is that here it runs from Q to um, R and then works slowly from R to P. But for us, it, it goes slowly, slower for um, Q to R and then run from R to P. So it's not this. And the answer is E. So number four is, says that the displacement of an object for a round trip between two locations is what? So basically, if it's a displacement, that means you start from here, and the round trip means no, no matter where you go, how you go, you come back to the same place. And if you come back to the same place, displacement is always zero. Here we have number five. A rock is thrown downward from an unknown height above the ground with an initial speed of 10 meters per second. It strikes the ground three seconds later. Determine the initial height of the rock above the ground. Okay, so here we have time. So these are the given ones. Three seconds. Velocity. Initial velocity. 10 meters per second. And also we're given acceleration, right? G equals uh, 9.8 meters per second squared. So, and we will find the height, right? So the initial height, or just height, which is the uh, y. So we want to find y. Uh, all right, so here, basically, what we have is the formula. Since we don't have time, I mean, sorry, we have time, three seconds. Uh, we don't have final velocity. So we have to use the formula where there is no final velocity, right? So, and that one, since we do it in terms of y, so we can use the one where y equals y initial plus v naught t plus one half a t squared, right? So we can use this formula. So, if we're going to use it, it says initial height, so we can take this as zero and then say y naught plus, then this is 10 times 3 plus, and then this is going to be one half of 9.8 times 3 squared, which is 9. Okay, so our goal is to find. Why not? All right, so here we're just going to do some algebra. So basically, um, this is negative, but this is also negative, right? Because remember, I mean, if, if we take this to, to other side, it's going to be negative. So if we take the, this one to other side, it's going to be negative, and that negative will cancel this negative. So our answer will be why not equals 30 plus. So we can cancel the negative, right? So 30 plus 0. 0.5 times 9.8 times 9, and we get 44. So why not is 74 centimeters or meters? This is our answer. So which is this one? Okay, this is how you solve this. So for number six, we have a dog run from point A to point B, A to B, then to C in three seconds. Find the dog's average velocity and average speed over three seconds. So it goes from A to B, then B to C, right? And it takes three seconds. So we want final velocity, uh, average velocity. So velocity average equals displacement divided by time, over time, right? And this is basically final minus initial, right? So here the final is uh, what is it? 2 and 4, so it's 6, and minus initial, which is here, 2. This is in terms of displacement, right? And 
time is 3. So this is going to be 4 divided by 3 and equals to 1.3 meters per second. Where speed, average speed is distance over time. So for this one, we need to take the entire distance. That means it went from here, right? It went here to um, 5 and then 6. That means 6 divided by 3 so is equal to 2 meters per second. So basically, the entire distance. It first traveled to here, which is four and five, and then came back here, so another one meter, so five meters total, uh, six meters total. So I'll divide by three seconds, so we get two meters per second. All right. So this for this this problem it was uh, in an experiment. Uh, Shearwater a seaboard was taken from its nest, flown five thousand one hundred fifty kilometers away, and released. A bird found its way back to its nest. 13.5 days after release. It could place the origin in the nest and extend the x axis to release point. So basically, this is the nest. And the bird was taken to somewhere over here, and this is the release point. So this distance then is 5,150 kilometers. Okay, so converted to meters, it is so times where one kilometer is 1,000 meters. So this is just going to be 5150000. So it's 5 million, 5,150,000. Okay. So this is in terms of kilometers. This is in terms of meters. So not in terms of meters. I and mean, we also have the time, which is 13 and a half days. So 13.5 days, where one day is 24 hours, and one hour is 3,600 seconds. Because we want velocity in meter per second. So 13.5 times 24 times 3,600. And we get 116640. Zero seconds, and then we just do uh, average velocity. So this is a for the return flight. So that means for the return flight, it goes back from here to there, right? From here to there, where this is in terms of displacement, right? This is point position zero and this is a uh, position in terms of five thousand five million one hundred fifty thousand meters away. So that means final initial which is here zero minus initial in position which is here. So zero minus five one five zero 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 divided by time and the time you can never have a negative so it's just one one six six 400 equals, see, you're going to get a negative number, right? Because it makes sense. Because you're traveling in a negative direction. And you get 4.4 .4 meters per second. This is for A. And B is very easy. It says, for the return flight, uh, for the whole episode. That means you start from here, you go there, and then you come back. So, what is your displacement? is zero, because you came back in the same place. So, what's average velocity? Average velocity is equals displacement over time, and displacement is zero. So, velocity average also is zero. And that's the, that's the answer for part B.